I am now at the top secret uh, testing facility. And uh, today I want to find out uh, how big of an impact uh, low suspension does. So you see, uh, you can, uh, well, it's, a, it's said that when driving on highways, if you use the lowest setting, you know, you will save energy. So how much energy do you save? Uh, what I'm going to do is um, there's a, I have a, a route I'm going to drive from where I'm, on, I'm right now to uh, a waypoint and then go back because then I will compensate for wind and elevation and I will drive at constant speed. Uh, it's getting a bit late now so it should be, shouldn't be too many cars uh, interfering. Uh, what else? Uh, I will also switch off the, the climate control just to yeah, eliminate one uh, variable. And I will do this test. First I will drive in 100 km per hour on normal and then 100 km per hour in low and then 130 km per hour in uh, normal. And the last one, 130 km per hour in low. And then we'll see if there's a difference, you know, in higher speed and all that. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Okay, that was the first test, which is 100 km per hour and normal suspension. Uh, here you see 26 kilometers uh, round trip, uh, 195 1000 per kilometer. Uh, I did forget to switch off the climate control, but anyway, it's. I guess we're just gonna leave it on then. Uh, it's more realistic test. Uh, and the, the car, we've been driving for over an hour now, so you know, the car should be yeah, uh, heated up already. You see, I switch off the air condition, but everything else is on automatic. On the second round, I drove on low, uh, 100 km per hour, and <laughs> well, as expected, it was 194, and uh, the previous test was 195. So at 100 km per hour, about 60 miles per hour, driving in low uh, has like no, yeah, no effect, pretty much. So now we're gonna try 130 km per hour or 80 miles per hour. Test number three shows that um, driving at 130 km per hour consumes a lot more energy. So that's 248 watt hour per kilometer. So for the last test, we're gonna lower the suspension and go one more time. Okay, and this is a bit surprising, as you can see. Uh, the consumption was 244 with low and in 130 kilometers per hour or 80 miles per hour. So that's only about one to two percent reduction. Well, I did have some obstacles on the way there. I couldn't drive in the, on the optimal speed, but uh, I mean, this test is, I guess it's pretty close because uh, the distance, distance is far. So yeah, this is what I also tested before one time when I didn't make video. Uh, I didn't drive 130, though. I drove at about 105 or something. And the conclusion back then was also there was like a one percent, a one to two percent difference. So I guess, uh, yeah. Well, I set it back to stand. I was on low on this previous test. So driving on standard, you know, it's pretty much yeah. I mean, it doesn't you, you don't save that much energy if you use low. So. At least on my tests. Uh, maybe if uh, you guys can try to do a similar test, you know, uh, it's really important that you start and stop at the same spot and that you do it, you know, um, you don't. Uh, I mean, you do it at the same time. Um, don't uh, wait until the next day because the temperature and the weather and the wind and everything might change. So, yeah. Well, that's.